Today we're going to talk about on how to keep the romance alive with your boo. So, a very requested video. Before we go ahead and talk about it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Welcome to the Irene Sky Taurus family. And my channel is diverse. I talk about everything. And today I will talk about the Taurus. So the first tip is mm -hmm, find out your common denominators. That means that you want to make sure that it's not only about, hey, darling, what do you want to do? And then what you want to do. And then you both go back and forth and try to do what the other wants. Usually that doesn't work because there are many things that you will have to force yourself to actually do it and you might not enjoy it as much. So I would recommend as the first tip to put down what you guys wanted to try together in the first place like it could be like you know you like winter vacations your partner likes summer vacations you could find a middle ground but it's way easier to be like hey you know this is our summer vacation and we always wanted to go to Paris yes true let's do that together so try to find out things that you guys wanted to do together in the first place. If it's inline skating, if it's kite surfing, if it's taking a day trip to Denver, Canada, whatever. You know, just focus on that and do that. That would keep the sparks alive and bring your bond closer. Second thing that you can do to keep the romance alive is to work on your look. As a female, you can try out new perfumes, you can try out a new you know, hairstyle, you can try out, um, you know, a new clothing style, more feminine and cuter. You can even try a little bit edgy, but don't do anything dark and gothic. That's not really a Taurus thing. And go ahead and try a new look and spark things up. You can even try a new lingerie and, you know, turn the head of your Taurus. If you're male, what you can do is try also a new haircut, go to the gym, work more out and get more buff. You can also try a new uh, male scent. You know that the perfume industry boomed over the pandemic, which is also due to a lot of people realizing that the smell attracts and leaves a huge impression than only, you know, the outside of what you look like. So you can play with that as a male. The third tip that I would recommend on doing to keep the focus alive or the spark alive in your romantic relationship is to try different things in your relationship, in intimacy. Intimacy is very important to all zodiac signs, I think, but in the Taurus world, he's very open to what the female likes. So if you have something true, you want something new that you want to try, or if you are male and you want to try something new, go ahead and do that. But talk to your partner before, <laughs> before surprising them. So that's a cute little tip to put in there. Number four is the surprise itself. You can do a surprise party. You can do a spontaneous trip. You can do a spontaneous um, dinner date. But what is important, and that's why I'm putting this in here, Taurus has a schedule and is very routine, meaning that if you like to do things spontaneous, make sure that your Taurus has it in their schedule. Take, you know, do things ahead of time. If you know you want to take their day off on Saturday or you want to take them out on Sunday, make sure like, hey, babe, you know, hey, darling, I want to take you on Sunday for something special. You create a suspense and you tell them up front. Now there are different Tauruses out there, but the majority is not super spontaneous. There are some who would just go out crazily and be like, yeah, let's do this. But most of like, wait a minute, even if it's just a lazy day, they have their routine, they have their plan. If it's just a day, take a day off and sit on the couch, they will be like, hey, I already planned chilling the whole day and it'd be hard to move them you would have to have something super special and talk to them throughout the whole day before they actually make up their mind so it's way easier to tell them up front like i'm gonna plan this for us and the last and not least tip is to take things to another level 
if you guys have been in a relationship for a while, it starts that you guys may take each other for granted. So create a little intentional rift, a little intentional space so that you guys can find back to each other. It might be a trip to your parents' house. It might be a trip to um, Paris. It might be a trip to your auntie, whatever. You're doing this on purpose. You're doing this on purpose because your Taurus will um, miss you because distance makes the heart grow fonder. And it, I really believe that. And most Tauruses really fit to that saying because the first thing and second day, they might be like, oh, I'm glad I have my time. I can go out and eat, I can chill. But after the third and fourth day, it will start to really miss you. Some might even miss you the first day right ahead. But just create the intention, the rift between you guys. You can even, you know, be like, hey, you go there, I go there. Or it's just you that creates that rift. And when you come back, you know, things are sparkling because you've been missing each other. Um, number six, which is also, um, you know, in addition to number five, is when I said to take things to another level, is also if you've been dating your Taurus for a while, and I've been getting female, um, especially females that have been questioning me and, and writing me, um, I mean, like, my Taurus has been dating me for a while, but he's not doing any kind of sign or making any move to take this to another level and make it a commitment. You have two types of Tauruses. You have the one that is um, running from commitment. They take their time because they don't want to be disappointed and they're looking for perfection. So it would take for a while for them to commit to you. And you have the other one that commits right away. They take you off the market right away. You don't know exactly what it is, but they take you off the market right away. And they claim you. If you're a woman that likes the freedom, um, you know, you like freedom, you might not know how to handle this with him being all type of clingy and claiming you. But if you're a woman that actually wants commitment, I would say use this type of scenario or this time of the year where, you know, it's winter, it's Christmas. People are getting more cozy. People want to stay in their home. You want a partner to call up with. You want somebody to spend Christmas with. Then I would definitely say, go ahead and use this time of the year to get closer to your Taurus and actually talk to them about thinking, taking things to the next level, basically. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, you want a consultation with me, go ahead and click the link down in the description box for my website, TaurusTV um, at gymnu.com and go ahead and book your personal consultation or go to the Patreon website. Subscribe to my Patreon, y'all, because I am starting a Taurus podcast with weekly episodes, exclusive content. And you can also book a consultation over there or write me an email and I'll answer to that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.